Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the 4th module of BMATS 101 super important questions and these are the repeated topics from the previous papers. The two topics are the most repeated ones. The first one is the linear congruence and second is the find uh, remainder and last digit. Okay, And another one is also there find the uh, least positive uh, digit. Okay, So that also I will be including it here. So in these three topics, the uh, or questions mostly it is asked, and another one, other topics are the uh, theorem topics like the RSA and all. Okay, so least positive number we'll discuss. So uh, based on the time constraints, if the time is very less, you can study these three topics, and if you have time, you can cover the other ones as well, the uh, theorems one. Okay, so there are many theorems are there, and it takes a lot of time to understand. So I'll be focusing on this, and uh, if you want this PDF, you can DM me on Instagram here. And uh, before starting, please do like and subscribe. It helps to make more videos like this. So uh, without wasting more time, let's get started. The first one is finding out the mod and linear congruence. Okay, so some uh, concepts you need to understand. As we go through the questions, I'll be explaining you what concepts are needed. Okay, so first is the linear linear congruence a question uh, might be given like this solve the system of linear congruence uh, and three things will be given okay three one is x one is y and one is z using the remainder theorem okay so here what you are supposed to do is first find out the b1 value b2 value and b3 value b1 b2 b3 are nothing but the 3 2 and 4 okay and whatever is with the mod values those are m1 m2 and m3 okay so m1 is 5 m2 is 6 and m3 is 7 next we need to verify that 5 comma 6 is equal to 1 6 comma 7 is equal to 1 and 5 comma 7 is equal to 1 means combination of this one this one and this one okay like that so for that uh, we have to take the capital m is equal to m1 into m2 m2 m3 the total uh, the modulo value so this mod into this mod this into this mod that is 5 into 6 into 7 you'll get 210 now we will use 210 value and divide by each of these values 5 6 and 7 okay so 210 divided by 5 will take first then we will take 210 divided by 6 then we will take 210 divided by 7 okay so now uh these are the three values right m1 m2 m2 just remember m1 is 5 m2 is 6 and m3 is 7 next what is m1 m1 is 210 divided by 5 okay because m1 is 5 so we'll divide 210 by 5 so we'll get 42 here and basically 42 is nothing but 6 into 7 so m1 value we will get which is 6 into 7 m2 value we will get 5 into 7 m3 value will get 5 into 6 why because we are dividing the whole multiplication with one of the number when we will divide the whole multiplication by 5, we will get this uh, multiplication answer. When we will divide the whole multiplication by this number, we will get this into this value, right? Like that, we will find out three values 42, uh, 35, and 30. This is M1, M2, and M3. Next, we will consider each of these one by one. MKX, MK is nothing but uh, the value here, uh, the value which you have got here, that M value, okay, M1. M1, uh, like that, we will multiply with X. And that should be congruent to 1 mod mk. Okay, this congruency, I'll explain what it means. For k1, k is equal to 1, 2, 3. Means for m1, we'll find, then we'll find for m2, then we'll find for m3. So basically, starting from the first, you'll have to write the values of b1, b2, b3, m1, m2, m3. And we have need to verify 5, 6 is 1, 6, 7, and 5, 7 is equal to 1. And we need to find out the modulo value. We'll multiply each of these and keep here. And we'll divide each of these by the 5, 6, 7 values, the m1, m2, m3 values. And we'll get capital M1, uh, capital M2, capital M3. Next, will do capital M uh, into X is congruent to 1 modulus small m. Okay, small m values which we got uh, in the question, right? That one we'll be doing. Okay, so first let's take this one. The small m1 is 5, uh, capital M1 is 42. So 42x capital M into X is congruent to 1 and mod 5. Mod 5 is uh, the 5 is the small m value, small m1 value. So mod 5. Now this equation means what? This equation means whatever the answer is here okay whatever the answer is here that one if we subtract with one okay this answer if we subtract with one that should be divisible by five that this whole equation indicates okay 42 into something minus one is divisible by five okay then we need to find out the x value okay like that similarly for y also 35 y 35 we got from here and y because the 35 is associated with y in the question right this is y and uh, that is equal to mod mk mk small value is 6 small m2 is 6 right so this equation we got like that 30z is equal to 1 mod 7 okay 1 mod 7 because small m3 is 7 now what is 42 into x minus 1 uh which should be divisible by 5 42 into 1 minus 1 that is 42 minus 1 is equal to 41 that is not possible 42 into 2 84 84 minus 1 that is also not visible 42 into 3 that is equal to 126 right 126 minus 1 125 that is divisible by 5 so x value we can take as 3 
42 into 3 minus 1 is divisible by 5. So, x value 3. Like that, for y, we will get the least value as 5. Z, we will get the least value as 4. Okay. We have got these values. Then, use this equation. x is equal to b1m1x plus b2m2y plus b3m3z is equal to modulo m. Okay. Modulo m. So, uh, we will write it like this only. Uh, whatever the values b1, we have the capital M1 values and uh, x value which we have got here. All will substitute and do the modulo of 210. The capital M modulo is 210 which we have got here. So, we will be finding out the x value then x is congruent to 158 modulo 210. That is a unique solution of uh, this answer. Okay. We have got here as 1208. But if we uh, further simplify it, we will be getting 158 here. Okay. So, this is the unique solution of... Uh, this value okay this basically means x minus 1208 should be divisible by 210 but this is not the least number if we keep on finding out the least number we will get x minus 158 that is also modulo of uh, 210 okay so uh, like that you have to keep on uh, finding out if you divide this by 6 divided this by 5 divide this by 8 you will get some values then you can check if any less value is there or not okay like that Moving on to the next one, we have find the last digit. Okay, like this question also comes. It's very simple. Find the last digit of 7 power 2013 and find the last digit of 13 power 37. Here what we do, 7 power 2013 and 2013 can be written in the form of 4, 4 into something plus uh, something. Okay, you always have to convert whatever the value is given in the power as 4 into something plus something. That is 4k plus 1. Now, 4k plus 1 here, right? What is 7 power 1? It is 7 only. So, 7 will be the last digit. Like that you have to write. Okay. When you do it in this equation form, that will be equivalent to mod 10. Okay. When you put mod 10 here, then what value comes here? That is the last digit value. 4k we need to ignore. Whatever is the plus 1 here. So, we will do the power. 7 power 1 is 7. So, 7 will come here. And we can write mod 10 here after we put it in this equation. And uh, whatever the answer came here, that is the last digit. Similarly, for 31 power 37. Okay. Directly, we can't write 37 uh, means 37 in the form of 4k plus 1 okay in case we write okay in case we write what we get in case we will write uh, what we will be getting is 13 power 4k plus 1 37 can be written as 9 4 36 plus 1 right 9 into 4 plus 1 we can write it like this right this is also 4k plus 1 only so in this case we will get 13 power 1 okay 13 power 1 again we will get here it as 13 only okay but 13 further can be simplified how can 13 be simplified see modulo 10 is here right what does this equation mean is 13 minus 10 is divisible by 10 okay 13 minus 10 is divisible by 10 we need to find the least digit okay we need to find out the least always okay so 13 minus 13 is modulus by 10 okay 13 can be written as uh, if we uh, subtract 3 also okay this is congruent to 3 also but why because 13 minus 3 is 10. 10 is also divisible by 10, right? So we can take it as 3 here. So we have taken as 3 here. So this is the final answer actually. The, these steps are not required. The final answer will get it here only. Okay, 3 is the last digit. Okay, why? Because see, if we uh, divide this by uh, means, if we do the multiplication, uh, final answer, whatever we get, it will be 3 there. Okay, by uh, doing 4k plus 1, what we had got is 4k plus 1 when we had done, so it will be 13 power. Uh, 4 into 9 plus 1. Okay, 4, 4 into 9 can be ignored. 13 power 1. 13 power 1 is 13. Okay, so the last digit is 13. But last digit we need. We need not have two two last digits. Okay, so for that simplification, we will again find out 13 is here, right? 13 minus 13 is 0. That is divisible by 10. If you take 3 also, that will also be divisible by 10. 13 minus 3. We should find out like that. Last digit we need. We need not have last two digits. Okay. So, 13 will get the last digit here also it is 3 and by this we also will get as 3. If you need uh, further, uh, like uh, if you do if you want to do it in the uh, actual way, you can go through these steps. Okay, basically what we do here, we will take the square from 9 we will take here. 13 square minus 9 is divisible. So, 13 plus 1 will also be divisible because 9 plus 1 is 10, right? We can take that negatives also. Okay, but this will become a bit complicated. So, you can go with the shortcut method as well. Okay. Going on to the last super important topic, which is find the least positive values of x such that here we have to find out the least positive value of x such that the following equation holds the congruency. Here also we need to find out x value, here also we need to find out x value. So basically, 71 minus x is divisible by 8. 71 minus x, what is the least value of x? 7, right? 71 minus 7 is 64. 64 is divisible by 8. So x value is 7 here. Next, 78 plus x minus 3 is modu uh, modular divisible by 5. Okay. What is 78 plus x minus 3? That is 76. Uh, 75 plus x. 
that is 75 plus x okay if you subtract you will get 75 plus x is equal to divisible by 5 now we can take x value as 0 but 0 is not positive it is uh, neither positive nor negative here we need least positive number right so that's why we will use 1 here i mean 5 here so that 75 plus 5 80 80 will be divisible by 5 so x value the least positive you can take it as 5 you cannot take a 0 here why because if you take 0 uh, if you take 0 what will happen 75 plus 0 0 is not positive that's the issue here okay so basically we have to write here 5 okay uh, i'll make it as not pointer okay so uh, we need to take 5 because 5 is the positive value and 0 is not the positive value okay like that for the next one also 89 is here right 89 and x plus 3 89 minus x minus 3 is divisible by 4 86 minus x is divisible by 4 86 minus x what is 86 minus x what x value you can take if you take 1 85 will not be divisible by 4 84 if you take 2 84 will be there 84 is divisible by 4 it is 21 right so x is equal to 2 right so 2 will be the final answer here okay that's all from this module make sure you uh solve these questions uh, more type of it okay i have just explained a basic concept here solve more type of it you'll get a good grasp on it and uh, please do like and subscribe it helps me make videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one